Because having a lot of money gives you the illusion that you can literally own everything and everybody. And because spending a few thousand dollars on odd things is not going to have a significant impact on their bank accounts. Millionaires do not always use their wealth in the same way that the majority of us would. Because of their enormous contracts and the lucrative sponsorship deals that they secure. NBA players are among the wealthiest athletes in the history of sports. Throughout the course of basketball's history, there have been a few players who have achieved notoriety not only for their play on the court but also for the bizarre purchases they make when they are not competing. But before we get started, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss any future updates. Give this video the thumbs up and then tell us what you think about it in the comments section. Now we begin the countdown. Number 15. Latrell Sprewell, Yacht. After Latrell Sprewell announced his retirement from the NBA because the multi-million dollar deal he got wasn't enough to feed his family, purchasing a yacht became one of the forward's most regrettable purchases. Although purchasing a yacht isn't an unusual thing to do in and of itself, it became one of Sprewell's most regrettable purchases. After spending one and a half million dollars on the yacht, it was eventually sold at auction, and he suffered significant financial losses as a result. In addition, one of his homes went into foreclosure during this time. Number 14. Jarrett Jack. Shoes. To reiterate, owning a shoe collection is not anything you should feel embarrassed about, and the thought of having hundreds of various pairs of sneakers is something that all of us share. Even yet, Jared Jack's collection appears to be excessive, as the point guard is said to have around 1, 500 different footwear in his possession at any given time. Number 13. David Lee. Celebration. The fact that David Lee took his Golden State Warriors teammates to Las Vegas for a couple of days to celebrate their NBA title is a little bit strange, considering that he had just been traded to the Boston Celtics at the time. However, Taking your boys for a night out at the bar isn't something that would be considered odd, especially considering the fact that you just ended a 40-year championship drought. Number 12. Carmelo Anthony, Camel. Carmelo Anthony went all the way and bought himself a camel in 2011, while Mike Tyson is known for his tigers and other NFL players brag about their alligators. I don't know if he rides it or if he just has it because he has enough money to take care of it regardless of whether or not he rides it. In spite of this, given how frequently they defecate, I seriously doubt that he is responsible for the majority of the grooming. Number 11. Deshaun Stevenson, an automated teller machine. Deshaun Stevenson posted a picture to his Twitter account showing an automated teller machine, ATM, that had been installed in his living room. When asked about it, he responded by saying that he enjoyed doing things that aren't typical and that it was cool to have an ATM. That being said, I will give him credit for being fairly forthright about it. In addition, sources claim that he actually refilled it several times with more than 20 dollars each time. Number 10. Marquis Daniels. Chain. Marquis Daniels is not as well recognized for his skills as a basketball player as he is for the peculiar chain that he displayed in 2010. Buying jewelry is not an unusual thing to do. However, if you construct a duplicate of your head out of 14, Carrot gold with cognac diamonds, you are going to be the talk of the town. Number 9. Gilbert Arenas. Shark Tank. Gilbert Arenas' prime was somewhat short and could be described as an emotional roller coaster, but he made it a point to garner as much attention as he possibly could throughout his career. The controversial point guard once purchased a mansion that cost him $3.5 million. He later added a shark tank to the home which increased his monthly expenses to over $6.5,000, until he made the decision to sell the house in 2012. Number 8. Eddie Curry. Bills. When it comes to budgeting and putting money away, Eddie Curry has to be one of the worst persons on the face of the planet. This individual spent more than $1,000 per month on cable, paid more than $6,000 per month to his personal chef and more than $17,000 for gifts to his family and friends. Number 7. The Jet, Scotty Pippen. Once more, purchasing a jet isn't the most insane thing you can do if you're a millionaire. Nevertheless, what Scotty Pippen did when he purchased an airplane for $4 million that didn't work is just a horrible move, to say the least. Number 6. Shaquille O'Neal, doing his best Superman impression. 
Although Shaquille O'Neal is known throughout the league for being one of the best investors in the basketball world, he has spent quite a bit of money on Superman memorabilia and apparel. Number 5. Danny Granger. Batcave. There was no mistake there at all. Danny Granger is responsible for the construction of his very own Batcave. When questioned about it, he responded by saying, Actually the builder called me and told me he found a wonderful little feature, a raise for my automobile, kind of like what Batman has. It's in the works, but the process is still ongoing. I've been involved in a lot of big things, and, the superhero stuff, is only one of them. I love Superman, love Batman. It's just how I've always been. It never changed. Number 4. The Bed, Al Jefferson. Why is it considered strange to buy a bed? I mean, who doesn't need a place to lay their head? Even so, Al Jefferson went a little too far when he purchased his, as evidenced by the fact that he paid almost $23,000 on a bed that was 12 feet by 10 feet. We get it, NBA players, you're bigger than the majority of us, and some beds aren't going to be able to accommodate you. However, that's not an excuse for doing something so absurd. Number 3. Chris Dahl, Kobe Bryant. Because Kobe Bryant is one of the most competitive people you'll ever meet, the news that he actually purchased 15 bottles of Cristal at a cost of $1, 400 each shouldn't come as much of a shock. This is due to the fact that poker star Antonio Esfandiari had previously purchased a couple of bottles. Number 2. Allen Iverson, Jewelry. Allen Iverson had a significant impact on the culture of basketball, both on and off the court. As a result of his influence, the league was compelled to institute a dress code in order to prevent players from appearing to be poor role models for younger players. Iverson was always known for his taste in jewelry, and according to multiple reports, the shooting guard who is struggling financially has spent millions of dollars on rocks that he can no longer afford. Furthermore, Iverson was always known for his taste in jewelry. Number 1. Miami Heat, Bar Tab. The majority of the time, when you get together with your close friends to celebrate, things go out of hand, and we wind up spending a lot more money than we ought to have. However, things might get even crazier if you're celebrating the fact that you won the NBA championship at the same time. When LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade, along with the rest of the Miami Heat players, traveled to New York City to celebrate the first of their two NBA championships, they ended up spending more than $200,000 in a single night. That is quite a bit above what is reasonable. Which of these things do you think is the most ridiculous to have in one's possession? Please feel free to share your thoughts with us below. Also consider subscribing to our channel and continue watching our videos. We shall meet you in our future video. In the meanwhile, take care. We appreciate you watching.